Hi, this is uh, John Ross again. Uh, welcome to episode two of Many to Come. Uh, today we're going to talk about colour printing, how you manage it, how you control it in its most simplistic terms. So let's get it down to real basics that a small to medium business would understand. And by small to medium business, let's say 10 users. So we have an office, an environment, whatever, with 10 users. Each got a laptop, each one has a personal inkjet printer. Let's just say six of those guys have only got a black and white inkjet printer, and the other four have got colour inkjet printers. And let's disregard whatever running costs they may have, because as we know, they can be quite expensive. So the guy who owns the company is looking to try and rationalise his printing and produce something on one machine rather than having 10 separate ones across the business. So this baby here, as an example, is an Oki C330DN, so it's a duplex network printer. He buys one of those. So now he's got one printer instead of 10. So how does he connect that up? Well, one easy way is obviously just buy a simple box like this, a little hub, connect the laptops into the back, or you can buy a wireless one and connect them wirelessly. Connect a printer up as a resource, load the drivers up, and you're off and running. So now, most people would think he's now got 10 people with absolute full access to a colour printer. Not necessarily. Because one of the software packages that comes with the Oki printer is a thing called print control software. And print control, unlike most other print control softwares, does not require a print server to work because the intelligence is then on the printer. So when installing the system and using print control, each user obviously has an IP address. Against that, that individual user, we can set certain parameters. So let's go back to the six guys who only could print in black and white before. They can do that again. You can restrict them to only printing in black and white. So you set the, the color option to zero, they cannot print color, and therefore they can only print in black and white. The other guys who printed in color, you can set it up to be freely open, they can print as many pages as they want in color, and in black and white, or you can actually restrict how many pages in a given period, let's call it a month, you allow them to print. So you can set it to, I don't know, 200 pages a week, so that's 800 pages a month. So if the guy has printed 799 pages in color, and he sends a 10 page print job, which is important that it gets printed, it will still be printed, even though he's now gone over the 800 pages. But he will not be allowed to print anything else in colour once he's gone over the 800 pages without having the counters reset. It's all very simple and easy to use. Many scenarios could be used for this, the small medium business we just talked about, but let's imagine, I don't know, you're a, you're, you're a renting office, you're one of those people who rent out office space in a short period of time for people. So you have one network printer, you have 10, 20, whatever it is, little booths that people come in and use. So they print, again, using the print control software, you know exactly who's printing what and when, and therefore you can charge them for it and turn it into a business. All very good, all very simple, all free, in the box, only for Loki. Okay.